think I'm a lot more interested in the way that the body itself can engage with the clothing rather than the clothing being activated by the body. And the fringe, I want it to move. I want it to sparkle. I want it to spin. I want it to be like a whole movement on its own, completely transforming the body. This semester, I really wanted to learn how to make garments because I've loved this thing for so many years. Starting to have a real passion for the subject and for the making. There's an art level that I want to engage with as well where there's a concept. I think art really equals concept. I need things with a lot of texture. I need, you know, frilly things. I like sparkly things. And how does that play into my inspiration? I'd always wanted to uh, work with fabrics and to get off uh, this two-dimensional plane and into the 3D. So I really embraced the fabrics, I guess. I never ever thought in a million years that I would make 10 garments for my senior thesis. I want to find a place for myself that is referencing the craft about the artisan and about the maker. I want to have a level of my work that is well designed, that's about design, and that's usable and workable for the body. What if I use the shapes of letter forms to make garments? This shape here, these triangular shapes, reference sails. Um, like the shapes that are found in sails. This middle piece is the diagonal. That's why the, there's kind of like a weird shape um, there, which I like. I think I was looking at the shapes and the textures and the materials used and how they all relate to one another within different cultures. You're creating a swatch that comes off of the machine completely 2D. It's a rectangle for the most part, and but it's like a painting. You can, you know, you can create all these like dimensions and lines and color, and, and so that's just a whole exploration in itself. We're not just thinking about the body, and we're not just thinking about the textile, we're thinking about how the two of them come together. With the, the pattern making, I learned a lot with that. The shapes in relation to the body, the proportion, like the scale difference between a flat object and when you put it on the body, it, it sort of changes the proportion of everything. I always see my models at the fashion show as being like my five children. Like I suddenly have five children because it's like, okay, do you have your shoes on and are your straps falling off and is your hair correct and is your makeup correct? And like, and so you're going around and just making sure that every last little detail is perfect before they turn that corner and they are set off on their way. Seeing everyone's reactions at the shows, you see your garment walk off onto the runway and then you hear everyone's cheering and just that's just what makes it all worth it. <laughs>